It's Local Edition. Thank you so much for joining us. Our guest is Wendy Rogers. Wendy is a design principal at the architecture firm of LPA Inc., which specializes in sustainable design. I am so glad you're here. And your subspecialty is green schools. What's a green school? Yes, well, I definitely wear two hats with what I do, volunteering um, to ensure that we can have green schools. And it really is a healthy environment for students to learn. And in what I do at LPA and with the volunteer work I do with the U.S. Green Building Council, um, you know, our job, our vision is to see um, uh, green schools within a generation. Wow. Now, you wrote this very impressive tomb. It's called Green <laughs> School Primer Lessons in Sustainability. And so you believe that schools can be efficient, effective, and green at the same time. How does that work in terms of cost? Is it more expensive to build a green school? Absolutely not. Really? If you have the right approach. Mm. And I think we firmly believe in an integrated approach, which means everybody has to be committed to having a green school at the beginning. So the owner, the architect, the contractor, it really does take everyone working together to do that. But if all the right decisions are made up front, um, a green school doesn't have to cost any more. And once the school is built, what are the energy savings? Oh, well, we see that they can save 30 to 35 percent of water cost. Your energy going to costs are going to go significantly down. And I think that the long term operating costs, I mean, really, when you look at schools today and the pressure they're under, I mean, they're under a lot of pressure with their operating budgets. I really think green schools are a significant part of the solution to how they can, you know, manage their overall budget. And are there benefits to the children sitting in the classrooms being in a school that was built green? We know there are. Really? We know there are studies that have been done that demonstrate that having natural daylighting in a classroom, for example, is going to improve test scores by 10 or 20 percent. What does that mean exactly, natural daylighting? Well, that just means, and it sounds really kind of simple <laughs> and obvious, right. but um, having plenty of windows in your classroom, having windows on both sides of your classroom so that um, students have the appropriate amount of illumination and here's the other benefit when you have enough natural illumination maybe it means the lights don't have to be on all day and you're saving on those energy costs. I have to admit I was at your headquarters in Orange County yeah. and I remember someone took me to one of your offices in the back and there were blinds mm -hmm. and somehow the blinds were set so it would maximize natural daylighting. So it really doesn't have to be the most complicated of things. There's some low-lying fruit for everyone. Yes, there absolutely is. And you kind of, you bring up a good point because we use our office as a bit of a laboratory to, you know, test and challenge different kinds of things that then we can take into, you know, um, the spaces that we design to ensure that we're doing the right thing in them. Now, like you said, tough economic times right now. Mm -hmm. But what I'm wondering is, are people jumping on the green bandwagon as it relates to schools given the climate? Yes. And I would say that we have seen a complete transformation in the marketplace in the last two years. Eight years ago, we were kind of the lone voice saying, this is something you really need to do and getting a lot of, um, you know, um, uh, concerns yeah, yeah. coming back at us. And I think now everyone really embraces it. Um, there is still the concern that it's going to cost more. And so what does that mean to them? And I think that we've done a great job at being able to demonstrate that that's not the case. Now, I know that we have a massive stimulus package yes, out of Washington, D.C., $800 billion. And I'm wondering if any of those dollars are dedicated to green schools. Yes. And in fact, I think it's a big part of kind of the federal legislation that's going on now. There was a bill passed by the House for almost $6.5 billion. And a lot of that is really to go, there are, you know, 20% of America's population is in a school at any one time. And that's a significant part of, um, you know, the students that can be affected by a housing market that candidly is in many ways sure. needs a lot of attention. Wendy, I am so glad you came. You have to stay in touch. And more importantly, thank you for the work that you're doing for America's children. It's so very important. Uh, thank you very you much. Bet. For Charters Local Edition, my name is Brad Pomerantz. Now we'll send you back to CNN Headline News. As your business searches for smart ways to save, don't forget about the one that's right in front of you. Switch to the Charter Business Bundle and you can save big without sacrificing a thing. Get reliable business telephone and high-speed internet with local support and great features. Power your business with great savings starting today. It's easy to pay less and get more. Call now and make a switch to the Charter Business Bundle.